colorblindness afflicts approximately 8% of all males, and less than 1% of all females. But what does it really mean to be colorblind? The answer can be traced back a couple hundred years to a man named John Dalton. John Dalton was born 1766 in England, and was considered a great chemist in the late 18th and early 19th century. However, John suffered from a visual impairment that prevented him from recognizing all the color hues, resulting in him becoming the first person to study color blindness. In 1798 he described his color blindness in a lecture to the Manchester Literary and Philosophical Society as only being capable of recognizing two main color hues. In fact, without any previous research to refer to on the disorder, he hypothesized that his condition was a result of his vitreous humor, having an abnormal blue tint, altering certain wavelengths from properly reaching his retina. In an effort to discover if his hypothesis was accurate, John Dalton donated his eyes for dissection after his death, which ultimately showed his vitreous humor as being completely normal. Modern research has illustrated that most types of color blindness are due to an inherited genetic disorder impacting the photopigments, or the color-detecting molecules, within the cone-shaped receptor cells located in the retina. These cells come in three types, with each being respectively sensitive to red, green, and blue color wavelengths. A diagnosis to determine if there are any issues with these cells can be accomplished using a simple test called the Ishihara color test. This test uses plates of colored dots to form shapes such as numbers and line paths for a subject to discern. And depending on the results a diagnosis can be made whether or not a person is afflicted with the disorder. Although John Dalton may not have discovered the root cause behind colorblindness, it's undeniable that his personal experience and natural curiosity greatly contributed to better understanding it. In fact, as a tribute to him, September 6th was designated International Colorblind Awareness Day to coincide with his birthday. For more information on this and other eye-related topics subscribe to our YouTube channel. And be the first to watch our next episode in this series where we look at Thomas Young's discovery of astigmatisms. Thank you.